fact that we will have to feed 9 billion people by 2050 means we're going to have to produce a lot more food. People take the granted that safe, nutritious and healthy food will continue to come to the supermarkets. We're going to need to produce more with less and that will require a big change to the way that we manage farming and food production. We started the New Vision for Agriculture in 2009 with 17 global companies that were concerned about the issue of global food sustainability. It basically says that agriculture should make a positive contribution to three things, food security, environmental sustainability, and economic opportunity. And part of the message of the vision is that you can't sacrifice one for the other, which we have sometimes done in the past. We have to start with farmers and put the farmers at the center of this whole effort. People only forget the farmer. They only be respect where people become hungry. Chúng tôi làm nông người làm nông nó vất vả lắm. Nên làm cà phê nó vất vả. Nông nghiệp Việt Nam bây giờ làm vẫn còn là manh mún tức là sẽ nhỏ hoặc mắt. Khuyến cáo để cho làm sao tức là thế hệ sau nó còn làm nữa, kể ra cũng khó. Tức là bởi vì nếu như làm manh mún cà phê, vì cho mỗi hộ được có vài xào làm ít quá thì người ta sẽ bỏ. Thế giờ muốn các con nó sướng hơn mình một tí, nó sướng hơn mình, thế thôi. In Vietnam, nobody want to invest into agriculture. So it means that the infrastructure is very poor, the technology is very backward, and farmers cannot connect to the market. There was a recognition that we were going to need a really profound change in the way that we manage our food systems. We need to really get everyone working together because nobody's connecting the dots. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you all for the public private partnership meeting. So we bring these stakeholders together to define some shared priorities. Things that the government genuinely has prioritized on a national level and that business is interested in on a commercial basis and that the NGOs and the farmers also feel are a priority. What we are doing in this task force is helping to link farmers with the market. There are not any way to help them if they not connect between farmer and trader and another business to set up a whole commodity channel. If somehow we start to bring them into groups, we will be able to provide them integrated training and help them in terms of improving their yield, in terms of improving their cost. One group we got the demo plot to show only the best practice with very practical. They can share experience with each other directly in the field, and they also can very easy to recognize what is problem, and they can identify together. Cái kiến thức nhất là khi mình xay xong mình lấy cái vỏ, mình lấy cái vỏ rồi mình ủ như vậy rồi mình ủ như thế nào cho nó đúng cách rồi và bỏ như thế nào để cho nó giảm lượng phân hóa học quá thì mình theo. For farmer, one thing came out very clearly by just reducing the usage of fertilizers, chemicals, and water. From an income point of view, farmer income is increasing from $500 to $1,000. When it comes to a company like Nestle, there is a very, very important benefit for us that we ensure that one of our key sourcing of coffee continues. You know, not only is it good for our business, but you know, you see the benefits going down to the poorest of poor people. What we've seen in Vietnam is the power of a good example. And this is a kind of partnership that we're working to develop in 11 countries currently in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. So it's really a locally driven effort with global support. You know, I think it's important uh, that we spread it around so there's more people involved on a global scale. I think even in India, the idea is to take it to at least three or four more provinces. On a global level, we need everyone to realize that achieving sustainability in agriculture is one of the most important challenges facing the world. And doing that is going to require 
a lot of awareness and a lot of action and coordination among all parts of society, including the consumer. The final consumer can make everything change. I mean, the final consumer is you and me. We put all this in our stomach. We have the right to know where it's coming from and how it has been produced. But because there's not the pressure, or maybe not the interest, yet from the final consumer, it's not happening. So I think through this discussion, hopefully it will crystallize as quickly as possible in everybody's mind, and people will act differently uh, in future. And not very long future, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be too little too late. Maybe it's a drop in the big uh, ocean, but at least it's a drop. It will take a multi-generational effort to solve. And this is one small piece of the puzzle, but we feel it is a really crucial piece of the puzzle that connects many other pieces. What we need to have is focus, dedication, and continuous passion. The new vision has grown really rapidly to be a network of leaders all over the world and represents the direction that everyone wants to go.